the Jigukadani Snow Monkey Park. And those back there, those are snow monkeys. They're Japanese macaques. They're endangered, and this park was set up so that uh, people can come and see them. It's about an hour train ride outside of Nagano, and uh, then a bus from there, another uh, either 10 minutes or a 40 minute express bus to get here. It's a little bit out of the way, but it's really cool because there aren't many places where you can get this close to these really cool monkeys. And those monkeys are really cute. And it's the best to come when it's snowing because uh, they're called snow monkeys. It's a perfect day today, and it snows here a lot. This is the month of April, and it's snowing. To get to the Snow Monkey Park, there are two main ways to get there from Nagano Station. You can either take an express bus, or you can take the Snow Monkey Express train to a local bus. Uh, but whichever way you go, you can get the Snow Monkey One Day Pass. It includes round trip transportation and admission to the Snow Monkey Park for 2,900 yen, which is a lot cheaper than if you bought it separately. They have different timetables for each one. Depending upon which time you go, it might be better to take the train or take the bus. The train runs earlier. The buses in the low season, which is not the snowy time, only run three times a day. If you're looking for something to snack on while you go on the train, good news, they've got tons of local produce in the train station. Pick up some Nagano apples. Uh, they're cheap and delicious. This is the specialty of the region. If you're taking the train, the way you'll know it's the right train is because it has a big snow monkey on it. There's two tracks down here, the local track and the express. The express is the one with my new friend here. Once you get off the train, turn right and get on a bus that looks kind of like this. It'll take you to the Snow Monkey Park stop. So after you get off the bus, either the local one or the express bus, you'll end up at this bus stop. Uh, there's a sign that says walk up to the Snow Monkey Park that way. If you need to use the restroom, then it's in the Roman Art Museum in the big concrete building back there. After you walk up the hill for about five minutes, you'll get to this sign that says Snow Monkey Park to the right, 1.8 kilometers. Guess what? Turn right here. Go this way. If you didn't use the restroom at the Roman Museum, use it when you get to the parking lot because this is the last restroom before the Snow Monkey Park. Just past the restrooms at the parking lot is the Enza Cafe serving ramen. Really good to warm you up if it's snowing and cold. And then just up the hill past that is the Snow Monkey official information and gift shop. And just beside the gift shop, that's where the hike begins. Uh, if you didn't bring proper hiking uh, attire, you can buy them at the gift shop, or if you didn't bring proper shoes, you can actually rent boots for 500 yen. Now that is a very enterprising business. Uh, the path itself is definitely a bit of a hike. It's not paved. As you can see, it's a dirt path. Uh, on days when it's snowing or raining or the snow is melting, it can be a little bit muddy. So proper footwear is advised. All right, I'll see you at the monkeys. As I was walking, I just realized that Topher is not wearing proper footwear, which means he's going to have to stay in my bag. In his bag. Which is then inside my bag. Okay, he's clean in there. The path is nicely signed to let you know how much further is left to go on the walk. From here, there's just 0.9 kilometers before we can see those cute, cute monkeys. We are quite close to the monkey park now. Uh, there's a very strong stream next to it and the smell of sulfur is getting much stronger. It's really neat to walk along this stream. It sounds kind of like the Mississippi. And after about 45 minutes, you'll get here, the entrance to the snow monkey park. Just 500 yen gets you in. The funny thing is that we actually saw some snow monkeys on some of the houses over there and didn't have to pay a penny. After you pay your admission fee, or if you had the one day snow monkey pass show it to them, you'll head further down this trail. There is a little warming room on the right and a couple of toilets that are actually here, but after you pay. Inside the warming room, there's a heater in the middle with some benches around so you can warm up. And there's also the little gift shop where you can buy some souvenirs to take home with you. After about a five minute walk after the ticket booth and crossing that bridge in the back, you will make it to the Monkey Park's main attraction the hot spring. And they congregate around this man-made pool uh, because the park rangers feed them. Uh, you can come in and you can be up close and personal with the monkeys. You can also see the snow monkeys live on the snow monkey live cam. Jogukadani yenkoem.co.jp. It points right at the hot spring where the monkeys like to collect. The monkeys roam around everywhere, not just in the hot springs. They're up on the hill up there. They're up on the hill up there. They're in the stream down there. 
occasionally you'll just be standing around and all of a sudden there's monkeys running in front of you. While you're in the monkey park, there are some rules you have to follow. Don't touch or startle the monkeys. Keep a safe distance while photographing or shooting video. Don't show food or feed the monkeys because they'll take it with you. I'm glad I ate my banana before I got here. And uh, they don't let you use any selfie sticks or fly any drones. It might scare the monkeys. If you come down to one of these areas, you can actually get up close and personal to the monkeys. Look, there's a papa monkey with a baby monkey, keeping the baby warm. Aww. Here's another group of them huddled together for warmth. This is a group of three or four. There's a group of two back there. I think this makes me want a cuddle buddy today to stay warm. On our way down, we stopped by Enza Cafe and had a really tasty bowl of chicken ramen. Uh, there was a British tour group in there while we were in there, and they were offered their choice of entree of ramen or fish and chips. Now, I'm not an expert on Japanese food, but the ramen was pretty tasty. That'd be my recommendation if you're going to eat here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click here to subscribe or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Links are in the description below. Or you might enjoy watching one of these other videos from Japan. Click any of them to watch. And if you didn't get enough snow monkeys in this video, you can watch the video in the lower left for three more minutes of snow monkeys or the video in the upper right for a cool snow monkey performance.